Hey guys, um, I just want to talk about the iPhone 7 for a little bit, and um, I just want to give out a couple reasons why um, the current iPhone 7 sucks. Um, just gonna right off the bat, I'm just gonna say that the um, iPhone 7 Plus is a lot better than iPhone 7. Um, used to be um, the uh, Plus version uh, was, you know, probably had like a bigger screen, but um, this year um, the Plus version of the seven of the iPhone seven um, has a lot of features that are considerably better than the iPhone seven. Um, so here's the thing: the Plus um, has a dual camera lens, which uh, the the uh, regular model doesn't. Um, it also has three gigs of RAM versus two gigs of RAM. Um, if you want like the best iPhone on the market right now, um, you're going to have to spend a lot more money um, for the iPhone um, 7 Plus. All right, so moving on, AirPods suck. All right, so um, and not only do they look ridiculous, uh, they also suck. Um yeah, I, I, I thought uh, Bluetooth headsets went out of fashion like like years ago, but apparently uh, Apple is trying to bring it back. Um, I have not seen, I think I've seen like one single person in public wearing those um, uh, wearing those iPods and um, the guy looked ridiculous. I mean it, 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 it looks as bad as, um, uh, uh, Google Glass looked when it first came out. It, it just has a really uh, douche appeal to it. So if you guys have this, um, uh, one of the main problems that a lot of people have been having is that uh, the buttons to control the volume uh, as well as the action button just stopped working um, shortly after being plugged in. And and like and while the fix to it, like unplugging them and plugging them back in, seems to fix the problem. Uh, it only, you know, resolves that issue for a short period of time, um, and then you got you got to just keep on doing it again uh, to to get them to work right. So um, the other reason that the iPhone 7 sucks is the new jet black colored phone that they got out. I mean, it sounds really cool, but um, one of the complaints that Apple has been receiving um, is that uh, people actually can't get their hands on them because um, they don't seem to, uh, they don't seem to have any of these in stock. But uh, while the jet black color seems kind of cool, um, it actually it, it actually kind of sucks if you think about it. Uh, you're now gonna have like uh, you're, you're not gonna have like a lot of scratches on your phone and uh, there's nothing worse than getting scratches on a brand new iPhone. And on top of that, um, it, it seems to collect a lot of grease um, which which is kind of disgusting. Yeah, but so it's not just the color. I mean, if you look at the design overall, um, it's starting to look old compared to other smartphones um, that are out in the market right now. Okay, so uh, another issue that the iPhone 7 has, um, and uh, Apple has been flooded with complaints uh, of, of it having bug infestations, and, and it's not just one kind. So a lot of people are now seeing these no service messages after turning the phone on and off air, airplane mode, which really sucks considering a lot of people, a uh, majority of people uh, need to connect to the internet. But uh, Apple, apparently uh, the way they think you should resolve it um, is... Yeah, apparently uh, Apple's telling people to turn the phone off and turn it back on uh, uh, to restart their phones just to try to resolve that issue. But if that doesn't work, then they suggest you take the SIM card out and put it back into your phone, uh, which is more of a hassle 
uh, than, than it's worth if you got to do it over and over and over and over again. So on top of that, uh, this issue, one of, this, one of the main issue is um, that hissing sound that's coming from the Apple iPhone 7. Apparently the hissing sound seems to be coming from the back of the phone. Um, and it seems to be a serious one because at this point, there seems to be no way to resolve the issue. And that hissing sound isn't like some of the times. It happens all the times on that phone. Apparently, the, the sound gets louder if the phone is being heavily worked by playing games and other processor-heavy apps. So, Apple's, Apple has told its users... Uh, to visit Apple Care and have their phones replaced, but the only problem is uh, there aren't uh, iPhone sevens in stock, which means that you gotta wait a bit longer. So, here's another issue: iPhone seven is actually the first iPhone to be water resistant. However, that does not mean that it's waterproof. So apparently. Uh, it's rated IP67, meaning that you can uh, it, it can withstand being submerged in three feet of water for up to 30 minutes. But that doesn't mean you can take your iPhone swimming or go to the pool uh, or take pictures underwater. Um, or taking the iPhone surfing or exposing your iPhone to salt water is going to do, it's going to mess up. Uh, the audio, you're going to have audio issues and it's going to mess up the audio on your phone. And sadly enough, uh, even if it is considered water resistant, if you get it wet and you need to get it fixed, it's not going to be under warranty. Yeah, so at this point, uh, the iPhone 7, um, that feature as far as the uh, water resistance of the phone has been done before by Samsung two years ago. There's no innovation in it. And on top of that, they got rid of the physical home button. So that physical click... So that physical click is now replaced by a buzz. And uh, while they did that, while they got rid of the home button to make the phone water resistant, it just feels kind of funny. So if you think about it, one of the main problems of this is, uh, let's say you're a gym rat, you're not going to be able to put that phone um, on uh, and use it uh, with an armband. On armband. Reason being is that uh, you're going to need touchscreen gloves to be able to click on the home screen button. Uh, not only is it going to be annoying, but you're going to look like you're absolutely crazy by doing that. All right, so on top of this, they got rid of the headphone jack. Uh, a decision that doesn't benefit anybody but Apple. I mean, think about it. How many times have you dropped your phone and that headphone line saved saved uh, your, your iPhone from hitting uh, the floor. So ditching the iPhone jack pretty much means that um, you're going to have to use wireless headphones, uh, which pretty much means that you're going to have to use those douchey earbuds um, from Apple, uh, which are kind of kind of expensive. And that's another thing that you got to remember to charge up. And the biggest reason why those headless, uh, yeah, so uh, the biggest problem why the um, the headphone jack problem sucks is um, it's now impossible to charge your phone when non-wireless headphones are plugged into your device. And on top of that, the A10 Fusion chip uh, that uh, Apple bragged about so much. Um, really doesn't make your phone that much more faster. Uh, it might quicken the process if you're opening apps and stuff like that, but it doesn't really do too much for you if you're playing games or uh, doing something that's processor heavy. 
And on top of that, it really doesn't save battery life on your iPhone. Which it should, but they didn't invest in that. 